Hello. And welcome to my baby stream. <laughs> it is I, Ellie, aka Keep New. Let me know if my fan is too loud. Cause it's really freaking hot today. <laughs> but hello to Switch Doctor AU, the queen herself. Damn, blind assassin, Wayne. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. Six months in a row, dang. Um, hello to Trades Platter. I one knew the cutie is here. We got Timito. Double day, I see you. What you guys up to? Bro, it's so hot. It's really hot today. I have my backup fan back there. Um, but I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. I was actually social this weekend. Imagine that. <laughs> but we are gathered here today. I see you, my Australian countrymen. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the mask for when Gian drops his 722. Oh, get those masks. <laughs> no, right? So she was there, like, imagine. Oh, I got to go see, um, Mint Lodica had an art show on Saturday. So that was fun. And I got to go hang out with Rofio and Breach and, uh, Frank and, oh, Roly. Okay, so Roly, add Roly to the list of people who thought I live in Australia. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Static? So today I received a package in the mail. Um, <laughs> well, now that people know that I'm local to them, apparently I get invited to things. All this time, I went to Keeb Life and there was at least four or five people that thought I was in Australia. So when I showed up, they were like, oh my gosh, you came all the way out here for the meetup. And I literally lived down the street. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, today we received a package. Tim, I would. I've looked into it actually because <laughs> I think what I do for my job, I think counts as like a skilled laborer. So if you can find me an employer, I will move immediately. And I'm bringing Winnie. Um, let me see. Yeah. All, I swear all my box cutters have like slowly been disappearing. Oh, well, I have an exacto on there. That'll work. Let us perform our surgery. So this is the box that um Switch Doctor sent me. Imagine if they took the treats. Bruh, if the freaking if customs took all the treats, we're gonna go rage over at the LAX. Wonder if I get, yeah, check it out. I feel like if you have enough money, you can immigrate wherever. Yeah, they want the goodies. So how this all started was, Switch Doctor is the true homie and saw this. If you don't, haven't been around, I collect the, um, CYO Ambassador Artisan. My case is dusty, but it's these ones. Um, these are the Ambassadors. I collect these, so if you see anybody who has them, you need to call me. <laughs> and that's what happened was Switch Doctor messaged me. Because someone was selling one in the Australia Facebook group. So, and then she was like, oh, well, I'm sending you this. I'm just going to send you goodies too. And I was like, I mean, I'm not going to say no. Like, <laughs> so, that's how this all started. How does one acquire such monies? I don't know. I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working on that myself. <laughs> oh, wait, how do you open it? There's a lot of tape. You did a really good job taping this box. Three kilos deep. <laughs> Alright. A kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds, right? Oh, here it goes. Oh. Uh... 
Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, minties. I think I might have tried something like this before. But it was like... It was from New Zealand my friend sent it to me. Hello, Mabula! So we got minties. It says, it's moments like these. You need minties. Do minties cool you down? Because if so, I definitely need these. An old time classic that leave you saying, ah, not just because they're nostalgic, but because they're refreshing, chewy, and minty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might have tried something like this. It sounds familiar. Because my aunties would bring back, like, like, they would always bring back from New Zealand, like, after their trip, like, almond slab and peanut slab. I freaking love peanut slab. <laughs> oh, I think this is the artist name. Well, let's take a look. Oh, the card. So this is his authentication card. The... The name is called Runny Makeup. Oh, this is... oh, it's fine. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not one of those, like, people that freak out if the card is bent or something. Yes! So this is the artisan. I don't have this one, so I was really excited. Cause look how freaking cute it is! Purple? Are you kidding me? Come on! <laughs> but yeah, CYO Caps, he retired from artisan making like... It's probably been about... It's over a year now. Um, thanks for coming to LA from Australia. I got you, Rufio. <laughs> and then... What's in here? Oh, they even have the sticker! How cute! So this was one of the stickers he had. Oh, and then there's also an artisan in here for um, for Aaron. So Aaron's been on the lookout for um, the Winkeys Goober V1s. So if you see any of those. Uh, he's been waiting for this one specifically for a while. So when I saw it on the picture, I was like, oh, girl, I need that one, too. <laughs> so I'll send this off to Aaron. Because, yeah, I think he has all of the Winkies um, V1 goobers, except for, like, two he's still looking for. Because he's looking for... Let me see if I can find his picture. I always see it because he posts it really regularly. Um, let's see... Because yeah, oh yeah, he, he needs two more. The last two are the Goober Fundamentals. I'll show it so you guys know. So these are the last two that he needs. Is the Goober Fundamentals Volume 2 and then the Goober Best Car. So these are some of the earlier win keys colorways which is how like that's why when i saw uh the cyo caps i was like this person must have been sitting on those caps for a while because um that colorway or well cyo caps for, in general hasn't been around for a while and then that was one of the earlier colorways for the redacted goober so they just must have been sitting on the collection and finally decided to sell some stuff all right we got Ooh, dairy milk. Cadbury milk chocolate. A hundred years of shared moments. Oh my gosh. Proudly made in Tasmania. <gasps> Switch Doctor, that's where we gotta go capture. We gotta capture the sea stars. <laughs> in Tasmania. <laughs> I've been telling Switch Doctor that I've been watching these I think I mentioned it in the last stream, but I've been watching these um these TikToks where the scientist lady goes and collects the invasive sea stars in Tasmania. And I was like, girl, I wanna do that. That looks so satisfying. So this is the legendary Vegemite, I believe. Is Vegemite 
Because I know there's like another one, right? Like Marmite. Is that like a regional difference or are they like completely different? Because like I used to have a a roommate from England and she would always make me toasts with cheese on it. B vitamins for vitality. Wow. Proudly made in Australia since 1923. You would think I would know this history. Given that I'm from Australia. Yeast extract. Okay. Well, I was instructed ahead of time that this was coming. And so I have some bread, but there was a tragedy. <laughs> I'll show you the bread tragedy after we go through the box. Because, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> Alright, we got Milo R Nourishing Energy. Make your... Pr oh, it's like a tin. Oh. Wait, you can drink it hot or cold? Do people actually drink it cold or is it one of those things where they're like, you could do it either way. Hello, turtle cats. Add it to cold or warm. Okay, we'll try cold because it's freaking hot today. <laughs> I just need to figure out how much. It says three heaped teaspoons of Milo to 200 mils. Oh, uh, I have a measuring cup that has milliliters. Huh, it sounds kind of like oval team, but with energy, <laughs> it does not dissolve well. Okay, I need the experience. The Natural Confectionery Co. Snakes. It's not meant to dissolve. <laughs> Just YOLO it? Okay. I mean, I know there's snakes in Australia. <laughs> Are these kind of like... Oh. These look good. Who needs pen pals when you can trade snacks? Hey, yeah. Oh, these are your favorite ones? And then, what the heck is it? Musk sticks? Lolly go round? Treat yourself to a little musk magic. I don't like that phrase. I don't like that phrase. <laughs> this classic Australian tree has a floral aroma and flavor. One that musk lovers will- Wait, what is- <laughs> What is musk? Cause like here we refer to like musky things as like, it's like a scent rather than something you eat. I'm concerned. It has a one health star rating. What the heck, Switch Doctor? You give me the healthy new active energies over here and then one star. Out of five. <laughs> okay, well, I'm interested in trying this. And then, of course, the amazing, the iconic Tim Tam. I've tried these before, and I've also tried the knockoff Trader Joe version. The Trader Joe version does not hold up to the regular Tim Tam. And you know you gotta do the Tim Tam Slam, bro. <laughs> so, we'll be... I guess, what do you usually drink eat the Tim Tams of? Yeah, this one has a 0.5 health star rating. Wait, I kind of like that they put those stars on it. <laughs> we don't have that in America, but we need that in America. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Mary? Yeah, so my friend Switch Doctor sent me out some goodies from Australia. Which is apparently where everyone thinks I live. So Tim Tam's like a cookie, or I guess over there you call it a biscuit. And it's like, it's delicious. Oh, so they have like, there's like a 5 star health rating. And Tim Tams are rated at 0.5 stars. <laughs> they couldn't even get 1 star. <laughs> What about this one? Does this have it too? 
It doesn't seem like all the things have it, but I saw it on the Lolly Go Round has a single star. Uh, what is this one? This one doesn't have one. I don't think this has a. Yeah. So it seems like it's only on some things, but not on everything. And then Vegemite doesn't have a thing. Do you need to like refrigerate uh, any of this after opening? Minties. Look at them. My love. <laughs> okay, so I came prepared, but there was a tragedy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, they can choose to show the star rating. Why would Tim Tams choose to show that they're a half star, though? <laughs> they would be like, Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's let everyone know they're not healthy. Oh, okay. oh so if you want to show on one thing, you gotta show it on all of them. Okay. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Wait, I've heard of that brand, Arnott's. Do they make, like, just a lot of different kind of cookies or biscuits? Because I think, do they do like a shortbread or something? That name sounds familiar. So we got our musk. Candies. Okay, so the so Switch Doctor told me that Vegemite was coming. So she told me to get some bread and make some toast. But we had a tragedy. So I'm going to show you what happened. So I forgot that I put it like... Well, this is what happened. I sat down in my chair and I was like, why does my backrest feel so squishy? <laughs> it's because it was the bread. It's like flat now. <laughs> it sat on the bread. And it's not just like one, it's the whole loaf. <laughs> I, sent a, I sent a picture to Switch Doctor and I was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. So, no. So, I'm gonna attempt to. Well, I wanted to see if I open. It was extremely comfortable. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanna see if I open the bag, if it will, like, maybe expand a little. <laughs> but if not, we'll just kinda, like, shape it back to bread form. <laughs> Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to try, because she told me to get butter. Um, I had heard about something called fairy bread. Is that a thing? Where they put sprinkles on it? But over there you call it like, these are something, a different name. But there's sprinkles right here. Oh yeah, let me get a napkin. Okay, let's try to shape this bread. Do you toast the bread for the, um, with, before you put the butter on for that one? Or it's just like plain bread? So the opening of the bag has not done anything for our bread. <laughs> Hundreds and thousands. Oh. Oh my gosh, this poor bread. Oh, okay. So maybe we'll do that first and then I can go throw a piece in the, in the, Toaster. <laughs> no! <laughs> it got compressed. Oh no. Oh no, it's Terry. <laughs> well, we'll just say I made an attempt at, um. <laughs> they look like chicken breasts. <laughs> they look like chickens. <laughs> We'll just, uh, open it up a little. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> okay. Let me see if the ones at the end are... Okay. <laughs> uh, it's just so sad. 
I was really excited too because I never eat bread, and so I was like, "Ooh, we'll get like a Wonder Bread. It's very American." But no, I sat on my dreams. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw one of these in the toaster if it will fit. I'm gonna go get the butter, so I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. It fit in the toaster. So, no bread goes to waste here. <laughs> so I got butter. BA asks, is Wonder Bread sweet? Yeah, it is a little bit sweet. I mean, there's probably... What's in this? I was like 15 high fructose corn syrup, but there is regular sugar. I think it's just like kind of, it just tastes like regular white bread. You know how like white bread tastes compared to like brown bread? Oh, you, you don't really eat milk though. Okay, so we're going to do the sprinkles bread. <laughs> is it that shocking switch done? <laughs> I mean, I would say like Hawaiian sweet bread is probably the sweetest. But yeah, you can't taste the sugar, but it definitely tastes like sweeter than just like brown wheat bread. Yeah, Hawaiian sweet bread is amazing. That's what I should bring with me, switch doctor. Because King's Hawaiian Bakery is on the way to the airport. Alright. We got our sprinkle. So how much butter do you put on the bread for the sprinkle? Like is it. Like a lot? Or just kind of. A little bit? Generous? Heaps? Ugh. Oh, it helps them to stick. Okay. We'll see. I'm getting more scared for the second. <laughs> We're doing science, okay? Dude, it's so hot the butter is melting on the bread. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I was worried the butter would be too cold because, like... I just took it out the fridge, but it's literally melting. <laughs> okay, and you just like sprinkle it? I'm in danger. It's like that wasabi kid where the little girl, she eats the wasabi and she's like, help. Is it like you cover the, every inch? I saw this in a picture once, so I'm trying to recreate that. Okay, I think that's plenty. <laughs> right? Hello, Winnie! You wanna come say hi? Come here. Come here. Yeah, 
on the bridge. My bean is here. My baby. Mm -hmm. Say hi, everybody. It's a kid's party treat. Oh. I wasn't sure what people would, when they would eat it, if it was like a breakfast thing. You put the sprinkles on a plate and then dunk the butter upside down. Wow. <laughs> Say hello. You can't eat the bread. She does like carbs, but... The main thing she tries to steal from me is chicken nuggets. You can't eat that. No! <laughs> Don't look it. She's gonna step on my bread. Oh, we're safe. We're safe. Okay. I'm gonna like press it down a little bit. So they don't roll everywhere. And I step on sprinkles later. You want a piece? Bean. Do a little sniff. Sniffy sniff. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. It's not gross, but it don't really taste like much. <laughs> it just tastes like butter. I was expecting the sprinkles to be like sweeter. But maybe we just have crappy sprinkles in America. Because I looked it up and it said non parade or whatever. I'm not mad at this. Hey, do not bite that. <laughs> if this is a birthday treat, the parent who came up with this is a genius. They save so much money on cake. I feel like, I feel like LA hipsters are gonna get a hold of this. And it's gonna be the new avocado toast. They haven't caught on yet. I actually like this. I'm not mad. <laughs> I feel like I don't eat butter very often. Hey, what's up? Warm thoughts. I gotta make the Milo. I'm good. What, you mean the sprinkles thing? Is that something you do, Gnarly Charlie? I've never done it before. I only saw it on TV. <laughs> yeah, the Switch Doctor sent me all these goodies, so we're doing some taste tests. I've never done it before, Gnarly Charlie. You're more Australian than I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, um... I'll get another spoon for this. Or I could just use it. Is Vegemite like, is this like you gotta scoop it with a spoon or is this like knifeable? <laughs> if that makes sense. Do not scoop? Okay. Knife? Okay. So then I'd save this for the Milo. I need to go get some milk and then. Oh, could I put it in like a. Could I put it in like a protein cup, like a shaker cup? Would that work? Instead of having to like, I know Tim says the clumps are a thing. Oh, okay. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll be right back then. I'll go get the toast and then I'll get the shaker cup because I think that'll make this a little easier. I'm your man.
So we had a toast, a toast issue. The toast bended in the toaster. <laughs> the chicken breast toast bent in the toaster, so I gotta push it down. Winnie. Girl. What are you doing? Where are you going? You <laughs> bent it in here. <laughs> yeah. I accidentally sat on the bread. <laughs> so the loaf is like <laughs> it got squished. No. Ugh. I'm so sad because I got that loaf of bread specifically for this. Because I was like, oh, I never eat Wonder Bread. <sighs> Tragedy. <laughs> Alright, let me... Well, let's scoop out the Milo. So I got some milk inside of here. Hey, what's up, Breach? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> rubber duckies bruh thanks for subscribing rubber duckies 19 months oh my gosh so I'm assuming this opens like a yeah oh okay so you just like push the Like a mini pink, <laughs> yeah. Good coating of butter and then small amount of Vegemite. Okay. The butter is a theme here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a. There was no like tab, so you just gotta like stab the. <laughs> okay, so I got like about. 10 ounces of milk. So it said three heaping spoons. I guess we can adjust if it's not good enough. Do you think that's enough? Okay, cool. Two is enough? Oh no! It said three on the can! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ripped. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I'm using this is my oats overnight cup. I put my overnight oats in it. It's just a blender bottle. You like one scoop? Oh no. I went I went too hard. Give me the Milo for the club. Oh, so this is what you mean, Tim, about the chunks. There's like bubbles. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to get ripped. <laughs> I've been thinking about taking up my Olympic weightlifting career again. <sighs> it takes so much time. I'm being exposed as overdoing. <laughs> yeah, well, now we know you're like a Milo addict. <laughs> okay, let me get my butt my bread ready so we got the butter it's a generous amount of butter oh you can put on ice cream few streets over got silver in her weight class oh sick yeah um i was very involved in the olympic weightlifting community for a few years and then I hurt my back and then the panini started so then I was like ah yes sedentary lifestyle perfect I know right it's you can see it's melting it's so hot <laughs> I don't know if you can see it very well but it's like melting in the heat I got a heat gun. <laughs> I just remembered I got a heat gun because we were talking about it on Saturday. <laughs> Patrick Starbit. This is, okay, this is, I think this is my patented chicken breast uh, bread. You know, 
it's a limited edition uh shaped by my butt so it's gonna cost you if you want one of these bad boys <laughs> okay so the vegemites gluten cutlet bleh, bleh. <laughs> no <laughs> you know this is the uh se version of the bread if you want the um the Founders, actually, this is the Founders Edition. The Special Edition, uh, you'll have to wait a few months for. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I'm... Ugh. Okay, there we go. Oh! Look at it! It's different texture than I thought it would be. It, you know what it looks like? It looks like, um, you know the, like, hard shell you put on ice cream? The magic shell? Like, once it's, like, frozen over and it's, like, hard, that's what this looks like. <laughs> Kid dupe keep talk with bread. <laughs> the bread face girl. <laughs> Bruh, double day. I'm not about to be on freaking keep talk. That mess is toxic. Sniff it. Why it smell like that? <laughs> it smells like soy sauce. The vitality better be strong in this mess. <laughs> it smells like not bad, but I I thought it wouldn't be so like like soy sauce smelly. I'm sniffing. I don't trust. <laughs> so wait, how much do you put on this? He said. Oh, let me scroll up. He said. Small amount of Vegemite. Okay. How about. Oh, the texture. Like this much? For the chicken? This butter is so <laughs> this butter is so melted. Whoa, it's like paint. There's a cat hair on here. Winnie. Okay, it's kind of like mixing with the butter. Hmm. Could do like a little pattern. It doesn't look good. <laughs> you know how they do on the um you know how they do on like where they make the texture with like the on like cakes? But they like they actually have frosting on there. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, I'm gonna just smooth it over, you know, we don't want to get too crazy. Okay, I think it's mixed good. <laughs> I am also curious for me. <laughs> okay, you have to build a tolerance to... Oh, do you think the ratios are off? I think the butter just melted a lot. Because it's really hot. <laughs> it definitely... It still has the smell, but it's not as strong. It's not strong. Hold on. It is good. <laughs> I think maybe I didn't put enough of it. Because it's not like a super strong taste. It has that flavor and like the saltiness. Look at that. Yeah, this is solid. 
can add more. Okay. We'll add a little more. Because obviously I'm from Australia. So you know my tolerance is very high. For Vegemite. It happened again on Saturday. Someone else thought I'm from Australia. <laughs> I feel like I should get like a... I need to make like a t-shirt. <laughs> like a t-shirt on there. <laughs> it was Rolly. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I also am not a picky eater, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and I, I grew up with a lot of, like, like Japanese food. Because my mom actually lived in Japan as, like, a high school student. <laughs> it was rolling. <laughs> With cheese? Okay, I could, yeah. I feel like cheese would be good. Also, what is it with like Australia and England? People like love cheese on toast. And why don't we do that? <laughs> Where did it get lost? <laughs> Okay, I got more of it that time. I still like it. I really like it. <laughs> it's very like savory, salty. It kind of tastes like soy sauce. But not in a weird, gross way. It's like less salty. But it has the soy sauce flavor. You just have double the spectrum. We do double toast. <laughs> Alright, let's try this model. I'm gonna give it another shake because it has like a foam on top right now. Oh, it tasted from the jar? I'm gonna do this for you, Switch Doctor. How much though? Like a little bit? Like that much? Okay. I'm doing this because you sent me goodies. <laughs> it's salty. <laughs> so salty. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> It's still in my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash it down with some Milo. Watch, I don't like Milo. I'm just like, what? Yeah, it smells kind of like oval team. If you get an ulcer, pop that on and it's. Oh, really? <laughs> this stuff? Oh my gosh, I believe it. I can't taste it because of the vegetable. <laughs> Let me drink some water real fast. <laughs> I gotta like cleanse my palate. <laughs> okay. The soy sauce remains, but it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it tastes like Oval Team. I think I'm on Team Switch Doctor, though. I think I would add more. Because <laughs> it kind of tastes like chocolate milk, but like... You know how Oval Team has that, like, other taste? What is it called? Like, malted something? kind of tastes like that. You go through my little so quick. I feel like I don't really drink milk very often. Like I'll put it, I use, I drink the um, lactate milk. Yeah, malt. 
I drink the lactate milk, but I use it for like my oatmeal. Okay. I want one of these. Tim, 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 These are gonna go fast. I know my mom is probably gonna eat them. Cause there was like a short time that the grocery store by my house, the Ralphs was selling these for some reason. And I was like, I'm not mad, <laughs> but how did you get them? Yeah. So Tim Tams come in this tray. They're a little melty cause it's really hot. I might need to like, scoop it with the knife cause it's really hot today. And this real melty. So it's like a, there's like two biscuits and then like a cream in the middle and it's covered in chocolate. But there's a thing you can do called the Tim Tam Slam. I don't know if Americans made this up or if this is legit. Yeah, I'll probably put them in the fridge later. Because it's freaking hot. But you like bite off the ends. And then you like drink some of your drink. You threw it like a straw. Oh yeah, look how melted they are. Oh wait, is Ozzy thing? Yeah, no, they're so melted right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tanya? How are you doing? Yeah, this is really good. It's not gonna slam for us because it's all melted, but... Oh, you got the corner. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's really good, though. It's like as if... Like, if you... Okay, American people. Or I guess there's probably Oreos in Australia, too. When you eat your Oreo, do you bite them dry or do you soak them in the milk? Like, what's your Oreo method? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Tanya. I hope that they get that resolved really fast, because that's crazy. You like dunking them? Hey, what's up, Ben? You take a bite and then drink the milk? For me, I'm on Team Oreo, like... I submerge that mess in the milk until all the bubbles come out. <laughs> and then I bite the, <laughs> the Oreo. <laughs> And that's kind of what the Tim Tam Slam kind of recreates for me. Because it's like... Because you're dragging the milk through the, um... Through the Tim Tam, it kind of gets a little soft and mushy. Oh, uh, Texas thing? I don't know, that's Tanya's biz, but it's... She's gotta go fight people. They messed up her crap. <laughs> Dang, these are so good. I'm gonna put them in the fridge though, because they're like really melty. Alright. I want to try at least this weird musk thing on stream. Because when you think musk, what do you think of? Because I think of like fragrances. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, soup, plate, soup dumpling is greater than dumpling soup. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Not Elon. <laughs> Elon stick, ew. That's how you know they're gonna be nasty. Just kidding. <laughs> Wait, so is this one of your favorite switch doctor? Whoa! Smells like flowers. Is that the musk? They're okay. Whoa! What are they made out of? The sugar, syrup, gelatin, coconut oil, food like coloring and musk flavor. Yeah, I never heard of this. 
It's like a sugar stick. Oh, I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be crunchy. Hmm. This is interesting. We, I don't think we have a candy that's similar to this flavor. Texture-wise, it's kind of like if you took Smarties, but like left them in the humidity for a little while. <laughs> so they're not like as crunchy. But it's not like a bad thing. Yeah, these are interesting. I'm, I'm not mad at these. I don't know if I could eat that whole bag, but... <laughs> yeah, the texture is nice. I like the texture. Hmm. But yeah, the flavor is very, like... floral -y. Oh, thanks, BA. Have a good one. I hope your cats are fed <laughs> tonight. <laughs> they aren't yelling at you. <laughs> um... Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, they're, I feel like they're good, like, if you just want a little bit of a flavor and something to chew on. Yeah, the Milo is lit. It tastes, it, it tastes a lot like Ovaltine, but like not as sweet, which, surprise, surprise. <laughs> You would add them to a party bag of lollies? Oh, okay. So is it kind of like the filler candy? Because if so, it's exactly like Smarties. <laughs> so this is your favorite candy, the snake? Yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> okay, I want to try these. Cause they look like gummy worms, but fancy. <laughs> look at <laughs> on the back. It has like crisscross, like a snake trying to mount a bucket <laughs> with that. <laughs> Ooh, these are good. Mmm. Oh no, a snake. <laughs> it kind of tastes like... It has a similar taste to like Swedish fish, but not hard. It's not good. <laughs> Are there different flavors or it's just different colors? Mmm, they're good. I'm probably gonna put them in the fridge too. Because they got a little hot. I had a five pound bag when we bought our house to snag on. <laughs> of gummy worms? Are you like team like... Just plain gummy worms, or do you like the ones with the sour on it? I keep getting Milo on my glasses. Okay, I'm gonna save the Cadbury bar for myself, and also because I'm gonna put it in the fridge before I open it. <laughs> but I did want to try one of these minties. You like the good sour ones? The worm itself is rich. Or well done. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, I know what Marvelous Creations are. Wait. Are Marvelous Creations 
Because one of my coworkers went to Australia and came back with, like, this mix pack of, um, like, candies. And then it had this, like, chocolate that had, like, little gummies inside of it. And I, that was freaking the bomb. And I, w I stole all of them out of the mix pack. <laughs> so I was like, y'all aren't even eating this, so I'm just going to take them all. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> But yeah. Okay, Minties is our final candy before we actually start getting into our switch lubing. It's like a white piece of candy. Mmm. It's a good but it's hard to chew. Mmm. No, I like this. They're not super hard. But they're like... You know when it like gets stuck on your teeth? <laughs> I like those. Those are really good. It kind of reminds me of um... Like the texture of like... A now and later. But like not gonna break your tooth off. You have cartoon? Get back here, rapper. Oh, it does. There's like little. This person is like standing in the rain. This one is eating stuff. And that one is doing laundry. <laughs> The minty is solid and it tastes really good, especially since it's like so hot today. Okay, Let me, I'm gonna clean up my desk. Wait, warm is offended? <laughs> well, <what? laughs> yeah, I mean, they're good. I think it's, it's just kind of like. It's like a good, like, mint flavor. Just like a solid candy that, like, maybe your grandma has some of them in her bag. <laughs> but it's sticking on my teeth. Okay, I'm gonna go put the butter away. And throw a couple of these in the fridge. Um, but I'll be right back. And then, um, tonight I'm gonna lube some switches. And then, um, I put, I put some keycaps on keyboards over the weekend, so I wanted to show some of them. So I'll be right back, but shout out Switch Doctor for sending me all the goodies, what the heck, girl, you're the real one. Okay, I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. I'm back with my Saturn 60. And I put SA Recall on it over the weekend. I think it looks real good. Except my caps lock is broken. <laughs> and I don't think there's a shift that's this size. Because this is a weird, a weird layout. Hey, what's up, Ringo Leone? But I think it came out nice. Well, I need to fix the switch. <laughs> the switch, like the top of the switch came off. When I was like pulling a keycap off of it, and it won't seat back down. Like, I think the stem screwed up the leaf. Um, so yeah, I was like, I gotta re, I'm go I wanna rebuild this with different switches, anyways, but <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, Tri Vanilla JS? I do have, this is a cool keyboard. If you don't remember, this was designed by Ace Keyboards, my friend Burgess Latro. Um, and I don't remember when the group I ran, but um, I got to pick my serial number. So I picked 0143, which is like the pager code for I love you. <laughs> so, yeah, I actually wrote the, uh, the firmware. For this board it was the first board i wrote the firmware for so that was fun also this board has so many layout options it like took me to forever to figure out how to um how to like set all that up in qmk because qmk can be kind of confusing writing it um but also my uh, um dss uh, after school, the 40s ortho kit showed up from 3D Cubes. So I put it on my little foot because it's really freaking cute. <laughs> and then, what else? Oh, I have one other board I put caps on over the weekend. Or two, actually. The keyboard case doubles as a zombie protection device. <laughs> yeah. Can slap people with it. <clears throat> um, I finally put handwork on a keyboard. Ugh. <laughs> so this is um DSS handwork. Uh, this is on my Squid 60. This board is really freaking heavy. <laughs> so, and I always forget until I go to pick it up. Yeah, it does kind of look like the Crayola ones. So it was based off of like GMK Handerbyte, which I believe the origin was like GMK was trying to showcase their color capabilities. And so it was like a sample that they had made like a long time ago <clears throat> and then the last board which I'm gonna be sending this back soon Ugh. um this is the prototype of the Mine from blind assassin And I, I forgot my um, DCS paperwork arrived with, and that set has the 10 use space bar. So I was able to finish this build. <laughs> but yeah, look at that space bar though. <laughs> this set came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Tim. I hope you have a good day at work. Yeah, the tenue space bar on such a tiny keyboard, it's really funny. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Mine. It's a Topra 40% that Blind Assassin's working on. So if you're interested in the group buy, um, he'll be running it through the 40% Discord. Um, this is the back. So this is a 3D printed prototype that I built last week. It's pretty fun. 
Yeah, paperwork came out really good. I'm really happy with it. The color is really nice. And actually, I got like, a keycap to match it. That I forgot to take with me the other day. Woo! There's artisans flying! I forgot that I won this um, Dread Keys Artisan. So this one matches this board. Or this keycap set. So I'm gonna put this set I think on... I can't decide. I don't know where the final home of paperwork is going to be. I was thinking... I don't know. It's too nice though. <laughs> I'm glad I liked it because now I know I can buy more DCS. Yeah, that's, I think that was for me too. I wanted to see what the ABS DCS was going to look like. Because um, I do have DCS Delphware, but that's a PBT set. Um, but I'm really happy with the ABS DCS. The only thing I really noticed was I think the G Legend seems a little skinty to me. Or maybe the F is just thick. But... Yeah, this G looks a little bit thin, but other than that, everything looks fine. And the texture is really nice too. <laughs> she real big. <laughs> it could be too, like these are the home homing ones. So I have to take a look at the other keys. I didn't I really didn't really get a chance to take a close look. Yeah, this is um DCS paperwork. So the extras haven't gone up yet. On 3D keys, she's still in the process of uh, its fulfillment. So, but it came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. It was funny too because um, when I was like putting the keycap sets on all my boards, I was like, these are all SP caps. <laughs> like, it seems like all my keycaps lately are signature plastic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the set up for the joke is, but there's a keyword joke in there where the punchline is John Legend. <laughs> nice. You gotta come up with the joke. Alright. Um, so today I need to uh loop some switches, but also I got another package from Australia. It just showed up right before stream. You got fired from GMK. <laughs> Double day! <laughs> You're the reason for the backup. <laughs> for the delays. Not enough shifts. <laughs> okay. Um, this is coming from an artisan maker. <laughs> I told you guys, I have an artisan addiction. So this is from Avo Caps. It says, thank you for adopting my work. Be gentle. Don't clean it with chemicals. Okay. Yeah, Avo Caps, I love their work. I have a couple of their keycaps. The Melvin. Oh, look at this. Get some cute stickers. There's like a little card. Thank you for adopting my babies. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Tarot uh, Shelby. It's funny because I remember when she first started. Um, heck yeah. If you want to retire Tri Vanilla JS, you gotta stop getting the Avo Caps toast. But I remember when she first started, she had like a container similar to this. In like a bubble mailer and by the time i got it it was completely smashed to pieces <laughs> luckily the keycap was fine but like <laughs> i just remember that because i was like oh there's plastic <laughs> but yeah she's definitely done an awesome job protecting her stuff but look how cute this is <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> also why do i have like all the bubble keycaps <laughs> they're everywhere <laughs> For some reason, I always buy, like, purple and tarot-themed keycaps. Like, every time. Ooh, there's a candy. 
Nikon Chan. The little orange baby. <laughs> That's cute. You got one of the caps, the one. Oh, you got a Mequon one? Dang. Oh, look, there's another candy. It's a Haichu Puni Shad. Soda flavor. Hmm. These stickers are really cute, though. I'm not going to put it on, but it's going to be cute. Alright. So what I should be doing is lubing switches. And I bought a lot of Zaku switches. <laughs> I'm only gonna do two packs today, but apparently I bought five packs. <laughs> Cause I was gonna put these in What board was I gonna put these in? <laughs> Wait, what was I gonna do with it? I don't remember. I think I bought enough for a full size because um, I have the acrylic Austin coming. But I don't remember why I bought these ones. Have you seen Wola Loki's? Oh yeah, yeah. I I took a look after. I think you might have mentioned it in a previous stream, and I took a look at their um, Instagram account. The Cheetos one is so cool. The way that it's like mounted on the Kika, <laughs> it's so interesting. All right, and then I think, I think what I wanted to do with these, I either wanted to rebuild my rebuild my iron with these or I was going to rebuild my baka or squid with these. I don't remember. But I do know I need two packs. All right, let us move some keyboards. Put this one over here. Maybe you're gonna build a Victus Osa V2. It's possible. I don't remember what I was in these. Also, hello, Stingray Shuffle. <laughs> I think. I don't remember what I was gonna do. For sure, I'm gonna get an Osa, but. I don't remember exactly what I was using it for. That's my problem is I like compo I like impulsively buy switches without like and then I don't remember why I bought them. <laughs> but I do need to I do need to like go through my inventory of stuff that I need to build still and create a schedule cuz <laughs> There's too much crap. Also, I'm going to be ordering the PCBs for the garbage truck soon. The custom PCBs that I designed. So, I don't think too many people have that board. But if you do, and you want a split space um, non-ortho garbage truck PCB, holla at your girl. Oh no, my napkin. Okay. So first thing I gotta do is separate all the parts. And... Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? Yeah, um, the garbage truck, I finalized the, I looked, I looked up the distances for the encoder, so I feel confident on that now, so I think, um, it's done already, uh, I think, I just wanted you to take a look, I 
I think I even picked out all the parts for JLC too. It's just like some other things came up and I didn't have time to finish it up. But yeah, trades if you want to hang out tomorrow or Wednesday, <laughs> let me know. Because I have a couple of PCB projects I want you to look over and check my homework. Give it the old thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking of, um, I kind of, I like this side view of my stream, but I was thinking of maybe, like, changing things a little bit. Because I do like having a top down, because then I can, like, zoom zoom a little easier. But I think maybe it's more, I just want, like, some, like, I want some LEDs on the back. And I want to change out this tabletop. But yeah, we're going to be tub lubing these switches. This one goes in there. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a two stage spring in these. Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I lube switches. I feel like all the things I've been building lately I haven't needed <laughs> MX switches or I was like milmaxing something. So yeah, what have you all been up to? I feel like I've been running around a lot lately this summer but this week i don't i'm not going anywhere or doing anything <laughs> and i'm happy to just be sitting in my house <laughs> but i'll be going to the cannon keys meetup uh next week like happened here somehow switched my language to Japanese on my keyboard oh there you go <laughs> so yeah I'll be going to the Canon Keys meetup next week um so I'll be flying into DC like on Thursday and then I'll be heading up to Philadelphia and then Rhode Island on the Friday. So that should be fun. I don't know if I've ever used switches with two stage springs before. <laughs> oh my gosh, Warren Bots. No. I mean, I feel like in the before times, I used to fly places pretty frequently like I would go just on like short weekend trips places because I enjoy traveling so it's been a hot minute since I've been able to do that which I mean there's still a risk of COVID and everything but like at least I'm fully vaccinated and I got my N95s and like <laughs> I try to do only outdoors type of stuff or if I am indoors always mass. I'm a big fan of the long boy multi-stage springs they go oh wait what 1700 grams wait was that you or somebody had like a really heavy space bar at the Austin meetup recently or like a really heavy springboard <laughs> I feel like at like 78 grams, like the Zykos I built, those things like broke my fingers. <laughs> Live in Atlanta. It's heaviest you have is 300 grams. Well, dang. Yeah, the 1700 grams sounds familiar because I swear somebody at the Austin meetup recently had like a board that was like extremely heavy switches and they were doing like a typing test competition on it.
Oh yeah, Guars. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think that was what I was I saw on like the Texas Discord. One point seven kilos is three pounds of force. What? <laughs> you got like your little three pound dumbbell just going like this. <laughs> You're like, I can lift it. <laughs> Instead of bicep curls, you got pinky curls. But yeah, I'm excited to see uh, the mix on deck homies on at the Cannon Keys meetup. Chewy and Eric will be there. Which, I've met Chewy in person before, but I haven't met Eric in person yet. Where the heck did I put my tweezer? It does be such a mess, it's like ridiculous. We're gonna pretend this is a tweezer. And use the switch cooler to... <laughs> <laughs> I've tried a lot of springs and finally settled into 69 gram sprit springs. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Glarsis did a keyboard bow with Teha using 1300 gram springs. Oh, dang. That sounds like too much. <laughs> 67 gold Jarok springs. See, like, I haven't really played around with, like, spring weights and stuff. I haven't ever hit my, like, switch modding... Like, I haven't hit my switch mod, like, period yet. <laughs> I think part of that is because I hate lubing switches. <laughs> so I'll do anything to get out of it. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't tried these um, Zaku switches before though, but I heard good things about them. So many switches in our super good stock, even stock lube switches are just nice stock. Yeah, I, I was really impressed with the um, the Oil Kings. Like, I have stock Oil Kings in my iron right now. And I'm really happy with them. I feel like they could be improved by lubing them, but they're totally fine. Uh, just stock. Some of these companies sell like one count or ten counts of springs for super cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I think I should try some other things before, but like different spring weights, but I just have been lazy. <laughs> I have oil kings coming on a board I got from DD. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think you'll really like them static. Also, thank you for following sub subsectored. How's it going? We're lubing switches. Hanging out. <laughs> I hope you're having a good evening. You love the keywords. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this one on the left is called the Smolka. Uh, from Blind Assassin. It's like a 40% keyboard. Uh, it's like a baby version of the Stierka. And then on the right is also from Blind Assassin. This is called the Mine. It's a, um, this is the prototype of the, it's a 40% Topra keyboard. There will be an MX option as well for the Mine, but, um, I think I'm going to get the Topra one. Yeah, the Smolka, it came out so nice. And actually, I got another one. <laughs> I got another one after I came back from uh, Texas because Blind Assassin gave me a, a green one. I was fighting this other guy for Smolkas. <laughs> actually, Davis got a Smolka too. Hers is really nice. It's a blue one. Smolka if you got them. <laughs> Finally, hey, hello, Snoopwog. Spring chats are a good time for me. Hey, yeah. 
yeah i need to i feel like i need to broaden my horizons when it comes to like s switch springs and stuff because i don't really know too much i'm basic i just use like the stock spring <laughs> Oh, also, um, so, oh, I know why we're looping these switches now. I remembered. <laughs> it's because I'm going to build the, uh, the Sangyo 65 with these. Oh, no, I dropped the spring. <laughs> I just remembered what board these are for. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure it's a 65 person. <laughs> I have to actually get down on oh. Wait, where's my uh I keep looking for my tweezers, I don't know where I put them. You need to find sixty seven gram long boys. Dang. You have 63 dual stage and they made f typing fun again. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's why I feel like if having being able to um Oh yeah, feel free to post um vanilla JS. Um Where did I put the spring? Oh sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm at the point right now where I'm kind of like getting used to what my keyboards feel like, like getting a baseline. And then those are cool. And then um I feel like once I like kind of figure out what f like f uh board I like, then kind of experimenting with different spring weights and stuff. It's kind of my next step. Whoa, this is a cool key asset. Hold on. Look at this. I love this crap. See, like, sets like this. I feel like this is the creativity we've been missing for a little while. Like, it's silly. But it's really cute. <laughs> The other part that's ingenious about this too is because it's like hand drawn. You don't really have to worry too much about alignment. So, and because it's PBT, like. This is sick. There's only four left. Um, uh, let's see. It looks like the same font that game where you kill your boss a ton of ways. What? It's really cute though. I love stuff like this. This is approved. <laughs> Who needs my approval? <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> yeah, I love stuff like that. I feel like that's kind of like... We're in a very interesting spot in like the keycap world right now because... Like, the ones that are, like, the manufacturers that are available to designers require, like, such a high MLQ that you really have to, like, tailor your design to a broad audience and have mass appeal. So you don't get the weird sets like that where people are just being experimental and fun because you're not going to hit the MLQ. So hopefully that'll change in the future. Because I kind of miss that, like, chaotic, like, people had a lot of different ideas and designs, like, in 2020. I kind of miss those days a little bit. But also, it's nice having in-stock options. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of same-same in turn. Yeah, it's just kind of like, I mean, it, it does look nice. And, like... People gotta sell stuff, right? So, like, they're gonna play it safe. But I feel like it also, in some ways, stifles creativity. 
helps them. Because there's just fewer options in terms of like manufacturers. You can have low MOQ. The number of in stock options. Is the yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, no, I, t I definitely think it's a good thing to have like all these in stock options. And also it helps drop um, money away from clone keycaps and towards like community vendors, which is a huge thing. So that was one of the huge excuses by people that were buying like AliExpress clones was there's nothing affordable or in stock. <laughs> Trades. <laughs> well, for Pizza Rat to succeed, and this is why I'm taking my time, is that it's gonna... I'm gonna have to market the crap off of, like... It's gonna take a lot of effort <laughs> to market it, right? Like, it's gonna take a significant effort by me to market that crap. And I'm finally at the point where I can... I have the time I can devote to it, so... I dropped another spring. I got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think like nobody wants to, to support cloners, right? It's not like anyone's favorite thing. <laughs> it's just not everyone had options, you know? So it's good that we have so many com community options. <laughs> What's Pizza Rat? Okay, I'll show you. I don't think I've shown this render before. You're going to get it for like five seconds. Let me pull it up. I've been working on a keycap set for like two years. <laughs> and I finally... I've, I got a manufacturer lined up. I got a vendor lined up. I got everything ready. But I want to get one more, um, one more board render, and then we will be ready. All right, so let me pull this up. Okay, you're getting this. Hold on. You're getting this for five seconds, okay? Five, four, three. Dang it, Gondo. I knew it. <laughs> the hack was too strong, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, literally, I, like, said one, and I went to click to turn it off, and it freaking, like, my OBS froze. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? <laughs> See, it's a sign. I just gotta post the interest check already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it well, what was happening before was it was just like shutting off my computer randomly. 
and uh, like in the middle of stream and I, I found out that it was because I hadn't updated my OBS in like a hot minute. Spoon oh, that's true. Yeah, I need to talk to um, the menu people. I guess what are your thoughts about so they brought up the idea of doing like a 40s only kit like a full 40s base kit and I wasn't sure if that's like something people like <laughs> that's too funny oh my gosh OBS I'm just happy that it didn't crash my whole computer like usual. <laughs> 40s gang. Yeah, because I, I, I guess I'm just curious, like, how many people are, like, their 40s only, you know what I mean? Because, like, for me, I switch between. So, like, I personally would, would use, like, a base kit plus a 40s kit because, like, I switch between different boards but i was i'm just curious like if the 40s gang prefers like a a 40s only base kit or if they prefer having the option for both But yeah, maybe that's what we might what I want to do before the end of the month. Cause yeah, I'm also planning the Don't Know Business a thon. And I'm kind of thinking of timing it with the pizza stuff. So then we can show my true business prowess. <laughs> I found it interesting that um, the Zaku switches are sold in packs of 35. Like, is that normal? I feel like it's like usually like 70, 90, 110 or something. If they don't sell them in packs of 10. What is getting rise up? <laughs> Getting closer. I'm mostly happy that these are linear so I can just tub loop them. <laughs> because I found that is I I personally have the same experience when I do it by hand lubing the stems versus just tub lubing them. No! I dropped another stem. Come back. You know what I need to invent is like a little net that sits like right here that will catch all of my like stuff that I drop on my stream because it's annoying. Right? Like I need like a... Oh my gosh, what if it was like one of those, you know they give those to babies where it's like a bib? And they like attach it to their the little table where they sit to eat. <laughs> That's what I need for my desk. <laughs> Best thing I did was get a rug for my office. So now when I lose springs, they don't fly. See, like, at least for me, it's consistent about like where it flies to. Like it flies directly under my desk, like to the wall, basically. 
I think I've only had one time where the spring went behind me. And that was like... I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Let me continue. Okay, I will um, create a proposal for Shark Tank. Because that's I've been watching that on the TV. And then um, we can go to the sharks and tell them about our desk bib. <laughs> I was cutting out gum PLA parts and a microscopic parts. And <gasps> no, that sounds terrible. I... I feel like I'd like to um, try one of those, but I'm very scared that like the same thing would happen to me where the parts just go flying and I like can't find them. <laughs> oh no. It's funny because the shark tank reminds me of my old office because it would always be on the TV like when we took our lunch break. So we would watch Shark Tank <laughs> during lunchtime. And then the CEO would always come in and he would like, he always ate like lean cuisine every day. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> and I was like, nobody actually likes lean cuisine. <laughs> My cat's favorite thing is plastic, so that has a time limit to find- Oh no! Turtle is out here stealing plastic. Yeah, Kit and Walter will do that. She'll like, she'll grab it and run with it. Winnie, she just likes hair ties, mostly. Hair ties and chicken nuggets. <laughs> the like, pressure is on, because Turtle is out there stocking whatever you dropped. <laughs> Oh no, turtle. Yeah, Kit and Walter, she doesn't eat the plastic, but she likes to chew on it. Or like she likes um plastic bags, like she likes to sit inside of plastic bags. She's a real sea turtle. Oh no. <laughs> Keep the plastic straws away from turtle. Cats are weird, but that's why I like them. <laughs> For me, I realized that I like cats because they're not afraid to show their true emotions. <laughs> right? Like, if a cat don't like you, they're not gonna, like, hide that. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> but when a cat actually loves you, they're, like, obsessed with you. You know that it's true love. <laughs> my cat, my child is a cat. Aww. Yeah, someone was asking me about um, Winnie if I thought she might be like Chimera or something because she has like a she has like a mix of like a whole bunch of different patterns and stuff. So I was like, I wonder if they have like one of those cat DNAs or something. <laughs> we can test Winnie and see how weird she is. They'll be like, ah yes, 100% potato. <laughs> Starch levels extremely high. <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, um, I think on Wednesday, me and BA are gonna try and finish up um, It Takes Two. I think we're getting close to the end. But if he's busy, um, there was this other, like, let me see what it was called again. There was this other, like, escape room game I was looking at. <laughs> it's called The Toilet Chronicles. <laughs> but this is what it says. It says, or I'll read you the, the description. And you can tell me if this is something you're interested in watching. Um. Oh wait, is this? Here we go. It says you find yourself in a public restroom. You explore the place, and when you get inside of the empty cabin, a guy next to your saw asks for some toilet paper. After giving him what he wants, he slides you a note with a message saying, "Stay in the cabin." I think the cabin is the stall says what you gonna do <laughs> it 
when you get out of the cabin, you notice that the escape door is gone. Now you have to find out if that guy trapped you or is he trapped with you. <laughs> so it's like an escape room puzzle game. And there is a multiplayer, but there's also a single player. So, can we escape the bathroom? <laughs> I just like puzzle, like escape room type of games. Or we could play Puzzle Pipe. We haven't done that in a while. I'll have to see if anybody's around. If you play multiplayer, is someone the person trapping you? Uh, let's see. It says... Oh, it says you can try to escape with your new partner or alone. Oh, maybe I'm thinking... Oh, you know what? It is just single player. I think when they said the new partner, I thought it was multiplayer. I think it's with the person talking to you in the other stall. Is there like a specific country that calls the, the toilet stall a cabin? Is it just a translation thing? Either way, I thought the premise was funny. Like, <laughs> it's supposed to be like a horror comedy, uh, like, game. Which, like, if I'm going to play a horror game, I need the comedic relief every once in a while or I'm going to start crying. Because <laughs> there's another game that someone told me to play before called Alien Isolation. That crap looks scary. I don't know if I can handle it. Alien Isolation is a jump scare game. Oh, uh, yeah. See, that's probably why they want me to watch, want me to play it, because I do not handle that well. <laughs> it's fun, but dang, it takes like an hour to get through the tutorials. Oh, that's for the Munter, Munter, the Monster Hunter Rise. I, but I've still just been playing Vampire Survivors. I still haven't unlocked everything. Once you're into it, it's fun. Oh, that's good. I kind of want to pick up, um, because did Travis get you the Deep Rock Galactic game? Um, static? Use the wiki. <laughs> uh, maybe you can help me figure out which, um, what my next step should be in that game. Yeah, I want to play it with you sometime. But go through the tutorial because it's kind of long. <laughs> okay. Think what I'll do. Is I'll do the bottom housings first, then we'll shake shake the springs and the stem. But I also need to find my tweezers. Oh, there's my freaking. Maybe it'll just hold on. I found my um box cutter. <laughs> I've been looking for that. Okay. So we did that. Let me see if I can find my tweezers. Oh, they're there. I'm wondering if I have my other tweezers. Also, I got a really bad, like, tan here. 
and my normal farmer tan is here. <laughs> so I'm ombre right now. <laughs> Cause I took my dad to the um the US Open of Surfing in Huntington Beach recently. And so we're like out in the sun and I like never leave my house. And the shirt I was wearing that day had like longer sleeves than this one. So then my tan got crazy. I also need to order more 105 oil. I have some that I'm forgetting about. I wonder if I do have some actually. Cause this thing is empty. No, oh, I need to order that. Buy 105 on Amazon and big bottles like 40 bucks. Oh, dang. Well, I was gonna see if Davis has any because if you didn't already know, 3D Cubes is closing. So she's working on selling off her inventory. Oh, yeah, she's out of 105. Um, so I think it's 25% off right now for everything in the store. Um, but yeah, she'll still be fulfilling the group buys that are left. Um, she's not going anywhere. She's just getting rid of the like day to day, uh, fulfillment type of stuff. Cause she just doesn't have the time for it anymore. Okay. Let me grab some from I want to I want Wait, do this? Oh, I probably don't want to ship. I probably don't want to take that on the airplane. I was going to say, if they had it at the meetup next week, then I could just do that. But I don't know if I want to take it on the plane and risk it, like, getting all over my crap. <laughs> So yeah, this is my dedicated 105 container for spring. So it has enough oil in there. To... And then I'll put a little more 205 in here. But yeah, it's been very hot lately. So like all my lube is very like thin at the moment. It actually works in my favor, <laughs> at least for today. <laughs> the container. Um, where's the lid? It sounds like candy. Yeah, I don't do this for um, tactiles personally. It's something I only do with linears. Just because it doesn't matter if you get lube on the legs. Really. Unless it's like ultra thick or something. Yeah. Let's get to this. But yeah, I got my little palette that Rubber Duckies made me. <laughs> if you bribe him with bongo cats, he'll he'll make you one.
But yeah, I'm trying to remember what keyboards I have coming. I know the Baca 70 is already on its way back to America. The Baca 40. I'm really excited for the Baca 70 because I don't have any white keyboards yet. Or I guess the Sangino 65. For some reason that board doesn't feel like it's mine. I think because I bought I won it. It's a really weird feeling. <laughs> I think too because I don't really know much about the board, so I need to do research. But yeah, I also got a frog that I'll be millmaxing soon. Um, I'm just waiting for the the sockets, so that'll be fun to m mess around with. I don't think I've used the frog yet. I just know they're like a really good deal. I look at 3D cubes that have the springs that oh that's yeah you're in AU yeah <laughs> yeah the shipping international it's not good you could try messaging her because I'm not sure if like that's just kind of like an automated shipping price um Davis is super chill but yeah, she just doesn't have the time for it anymore. But she's not leaving the keyboard hobby. She's just not going to be fulfilling like the daily switches and lube and everything. I got to see her in Houston recently and it was freaking fun. <laughs> Get proxy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm planning on coming down there in January. So if you can wait till January, then I got you. <laughs> the Keep Noob uh, White Glove Keyboard Service Proxy will be happening in December, January. <laughs> what do they call is that what it's called? White glove service where they like there's a person who like delivers your whatever it is like on a plane like they carry it on is that what that's called Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out like where all I want to go because my thing is if I'm going all the way to that side of the earth, I'm going everywhere. <laughs> Which is what happened the last time I went to Asia. Like we went to Japan, Korea, the Philippines, Singapore, and Taiwan. <laughs> like gotta go to theme parks and oh, is that Queensland? What they got? They got a Disneyland? Theme parks. Oh, Ozzy World? What the? Oh, Warner Brothers Movie World. Wow. 
Okay, I might add this to my list. Yeah, I know nothing about Australia, even though I'm apparently from there. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm always down. Something I was looking into, actually, I love train travel. Like, I'm such an old person. I'm like an old, old person. So I was looking into like if there were any trains from like the major cities rather than taking like a short flight like actually getting to see a little bit of the earth Aussie world's overrated <laughs> I definitely want to go to like the like um like the zoo where the um what is the guy like the Ste the Irwins where the Irwins work because they work at like a a famous zoo right I want to travel by train across China or something hey yeah that sounds super fun I've traveled across the U.S. on the Amtrak which obviously is the U.S. Amtrak is not fancy but it was a really fun experience and it was cool to like actually feel like in real time how big this country is like it feels very like present i don't know if that makes sense oh australia zoo okay yeah i want to go there i want to um i want to just like touch some animals <laughs> or look at some animals that won't bite me <laughs> Um, obviously I want to go take down the sea stars in Tasmania. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it earlier, but there's this like scientist in Tasmania who's like getting rid of these invasive sea stars and I want to do it so bad. Like I want to message her actually. <laughs> SeaWorld's a good shout out. Yeah, we have SeaWorld here like in San Diego. But I don't know how I feel about orcas anymore after I watched that, um... What was that documentary? Blackfish, I think is what it was called. And it talks about how the... That one, um, orca attacked somebody. Events. They have a crikey magazine. <laughs> Do people actually say that over there? Crikey. Is it like a regional thing? Depends. I think the more outback you get, the more common it is. Ooh! static which ones did you get you mostly just say the c word and the burbs nice <laughs> i have to check my uh paypal Ugh. where's my phone oh here it is You got one kudz and one- Oh, nice! Yeah, that new sculpt is really pretty. <gasps> I got an invoice too! What did I get? Let me plug in my phone. Ooh, I got a kudzu and one of the new sculpt too. <laughs> What is it called? Common Zoo? Hmm. 
Did I do this right? I'll have to check that later. Oh, really? Yeah, I like the mask on the new skull because it reminded me of, like, in Moana, those little coconut dudes. Oh, there you go. Okay. I was, at first second, I thought the PayPal was being weird, but it worked. Once you get your, um, your artisan, you'll have to show, like, a side-by-side -side with your tattoo. Hey, what's up, Trey Pop? Also, congrats on your first day of work. I hope it was fun. I was talking to my friend today because he's in the process of, like, trying to get a new job. And he's getting close. You did nothing? <laughs> yeah, yeah! The new job, the chill new job is, like, the best. I'm in the same boat where, like, I don't really have any assignments, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> but I have, they finally gave me something to do, but I still have to wait for, like, the designers to give me their stuff. But I love this for you. I feel like after I started my new job, it was kind of like, it was like this period of like, almost like decompressing from my last job because I felt so burnt out. Like, having nothing to do was like, amazing. <laughs> By the time I got outside, we had no time to do anything, so we just cleaned the heck here. Um, found out the trial room is for- oh, that's good. Congrats, Static. That's awesome. Yeah, I I and I enjoy the work that they give me. But I think too, I kind of enjoy the like downtime right now just because it makes me actually excited to like when I do get a new assignment, I'm actually excited to do it rather than feeling like I'm constantly trying to catch up on like work. Like I'm always behind. That's a good feeling. And I really think it just comes down to like management to be honest. This whole process takes so long. I'll be hoisted into a hole in the ground running fiber through. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's some kind of like telecoms type of thing. I just finished watching um the third season of Blown Away. It's like a... It's like a, um, glass blowing. I need to, we need to cover that up. Hold on. I'm about to put this. <laughs> we need to fix this. We're replacing the toxicity. With love. 
Goodbye. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> One of the people on the show. Who's your professor? Turtle Cat. Okay, wait. No, I'm obsessed with that show. <laughs> what season was it? I'm installing fiber for Meta. Oh, interesting. See, this one I look way better. <laughs> Alexander. Let me Google this. Let me Google this. Oh, wait, did he get out pretty early? He looks familiar. I want to see what his pieces were. <laughs> he came in second for season one and came to judge. Oh, maybe there's another Alexander. Is it Alexander Rosenberg? Oh, you're blown away. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. I do remember him. I remember his work because the pill bottle. I remember that. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, I just watched season three, um, which was pretty cool. I like they did like a team challenge, which was kind of cool. It only just clicked that the decimate reminds me of Dance Gavin Dance's album artwork. Oh yeah, so this um this decimate. So Davis had um commissioned uh. A couple of black artists to do different dust mats. So she did the Joy dust mat was one, and then this one is called Villagers. Um, the the designer is named Foos. I don't know how to say this. Foos Hochi. Yeah, it's Animal Crossing. So um, let me copy paste. And then the artist. <laughs> Wait, this is so funny. So they had um posted their this as like as like um fan art on Reddit and the comment the comment I saw is says it's Davis and it says I'd like to pay you for this and provide royalties on a desk man <laughs> when it's like stricken out and then it says just emailed you. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> She's so funny. But yeah, I love this dust mat. It's perfect because there's so much colors. If you stain it at all, you're no one's ever going to see it. The only problem is if you have small items that are like dark in color, it's hard to find them on this dust mat because <laughs> I experienced that last week. <laughs> um, but yeah, his Instagram its the same username. Uh... But this is their art Instagram. Um, but yeah, their art style is really cool. Yeah, I I wonder if they do a print of this as well. Should take a look if there's a. Ooh, their commissions are open. I should hit them up. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool dust map. I love Animal Crossing. It saved me. <laughs> It saved all of us in 2020. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> but yeah, I love that kind of like graffiti kind of art style and then it's like a collage, but then it's like, it's really cool.
I'm on Stardew Valley. Oh, nice. Yeah, Stardew is, is fun to play with other people. I haven't started a Stardew game like by myself. I've always played on like my friends' servers. Which is good because then I won't play it like constantly. Because I can only play when they're playing. <laughs> I always get stressed on the multiplayer because time goes by when you pause it. Oh, it does? Yeah, my problem with that is that like I get, I get too uh, involved in the, the dungeon and I don't realize like what the time is. And then I'm like sprinting back. I'm like sprinting back to try and uh, not lose my stuff. If you're an inventory on single player. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've only experienced the multiplayer, so I didn't know that. Are you the kind of Stardew player that plays with the wiki? <laughs> no, I try to. Um... I try to just figure it out. I think the only things I'll pull up is like for the uh, for the bundle items, like figuring out what season things are in. Cause there's just so many things, so many bundles. Even after getting the fast travel on the horse, I still end up forgetting. Eh. I don't know if I've gotten that far to the horse. We did get the mine carts unlocked, which are like a game changer. And I've gone to like that desert cave, the skull cave or whatever it's called. Okay, you gotta tell me who are your, uh, who are you dating in Stardew? <laughs> did you get married? I heard there's like a divorce option or something. Leah, okay, Abigail. I got married to I went for the nerd RV, the doctor. The mustache game is strong, y'all. My partner's married to Sebastian, which is freaky because that's my name and literally Oh my gosh, are you emo too? <laughs> that's so weird and funny. Yeah, the one blue-haired girl was, like, obsessed with me in the one game I played. You got that Skrillex look? Hey, game. Easiest <laughs> cosplay of my life. <laughs> hey, yeah, cosplay always on deck. <laughs> Emily, yeah, there was this one game I played where Emily was, like, obsessed with me. And I was like, girl, me and Harvey were together. <laughs> The funniest crap ever was like, you know how they have the cutscenes where they like, like once you've reached the like love level or whatever, and he like shows you his airplanes. It was like the nerdiest crap ever, and I was like laughing really hard. I never got that far, but my girlfriend played. She played with a harem mod that lets you romance the wizards when you married everyone. <laughs> That's the way to play. See, I, I haven't gotten into the mods yet. I, I um, saw an article, I forget who wrote it, but it was about like, there's a furry mod for Stardew. <laughs> With your cute little palette, you look like Bob Ross of keyboard modding. <laughs> yeah, these are my happy little switches. <laughs> we did like a Bob Ross night in Discord the other week. Where we did, um, we played like the Bob Ross video and then we all tried to paint it. I can show you my painting. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I finally got to use my toolbox of paints. Yeah, we could do it in my Discord sometime. It was really fun. Oh, well, this is my doodle. 
I did a doodle with my Oscar pens. It's supposed to be Winnie. Hey, what's up, Hellbent? What's up? Hey, is it in this book? Oh, it's in my other one. Hold on. Oh, here. This is my Bob Ross painting. Ta-da! Happy little accidents! Helvin, how are you doing? I'm excited to get my t-shirt. Uh, we did that once, but we turned it into a drinking game where you take a sip every time you said something motivational. <laughs> we got so slash on it. Nice. Yeah, I, it was weird uh, using acrylics because I haven't really painted in acrylics too much. And it was also very hot that day, so it was drying really quickly. But um, I'm happy with the trees. I think the trees came out good. <laughs> but, yeah, but it was really fun. We just like all had our different paints. Like some people did MS paint, like you talked about. And then... Um, some people had like markers and different stuff. And then we all just, we would pause it because, you know, you can't, none of us can paint as fast as good old Bob. But yeah, so and it was just a fun night. I saw um, Nene was doing it with like an AI. So he like would draw and then the AI would like make it look like real trees and stuff. Bob Lightning McQueen wrote, exactly. He's like, one second, he's just like, oh yeah, do this stroke. And then he like, when you looked away, he like drew this whole mountain and you're like, what just happened? <laughs> Love to try it with, yeah, if you want to, we can, um, Jen Lee Bean's the one who came up with it. So maybe we can convince her to set it up in my discord and we can have a paint night because yeah it was it was really fun i really enjoyed it i missed the last one because i was um what was i doing oh i went to go see susan's art show yeah that was really fun i got to see her dog jb my little friend And then we got ice cream. <laughs> I'm like not used to being social anymore. I was thinking about buying a skateboard. <laughs> Who wants to join my skateboard club? <laughs> After pandemic, everyone has the social skills of a waffle, so it's fine. Yeah, right? That's like, I figured. I think, um... Ooh, she won too! Congrats, Danny! You got all the doohickeys. My girlfriend hates his voice. She says he's too soothing and it's not natural. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd be curious to hear her thoughts about Mr. Rogers. Down can't kick flip, so heel flip will be a vibe. Okay, so when I was in middle school, I like saved up my money and I like bought all the parts for a skateboard and then I built one myself. And I like couldn't do any tricks, so I would just ride around. But I could do an Ollie, that was it. Everyone does love waffles, or they should love waffles. But yeah, my goal is to like do an ollie and maybe a kickflip. I have resources now in the skateboarding world, so I think I can do it. <laughs> I bought soft wheels for my first work. Okay, do you know the difference between so like I've it's been such a long time since I skateboarded because I had like a short board with like the hot like the hard wheels and stuff. Hey, what's up, Lividity? It's true, we got your baby, the Shriek. <laughs> yeah, the color matches really good with, um, I, I think it matches perfectly with PBT Tarot. 
Because I think GMK Tarot is a little warmer, the purple. But this one matches really good with the PBT version. So you should tell everybody. All you PBT people who got it for 50 bucks. Stonks on the Tarot Shriek now. <laughs> There's an anti Bob Ross who's like, now capture the scream into the painting and yells at the canvas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you should send me a link to that. That sounds amazing. PVT gang gang. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, it looks great. I love it. Yeah, I find myself like buying all the tarot artisans. Or just like purple artisans generally. I feel like I'm drawn to <laughs> but i hope you're doing well so yeah i have um i was looking at the different like long boards because i don't want like the usual like long long board where like like for carving i want like a board that looks like a short board but is if i hit a small rock i'm not gonna die like <laughs> you would with a short board like i want one that has like wheels that can like if i hit a rock i'm not going to like fly off the board oh sure yeah feel free so the, i was looking at like there seems to be new like categories of long boards called like cruiser boards and atv boards so i was trying to look at the difference between them I don't have the sound on, but I'm watching. Cruiser? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking like a cruiser or there was another like type of cruiser called an ATV, but I wasn't too sure if there's like what the difference between them is. <laughs> He's just yelling and painting across the canvas. <laughs> yeah, I just want something like I can go down to the beach and like roll around. There was someone at the local skate park near that would show up. Skateboarders. Uh, oh, nice. Dude, were they a soul skater? <laughs> you don't get that reference. I'm old. <laughs> I used to rollerblade back in the day, but I feel like I would fall on my face. I was never good at breaking. That was my problem with rollerblades. Hey, what's up, BA? Look, I found a good place for one of your stickers. <laughs> um, I'm lubing switches. Um, these are Zaku's. I'm almost done with the t the bottom housings. They would backflip while grinding. It was crazy. Dang. They must have been the true soul skaters. <laughs> if you haven't watched the movie Brink on Disney, I highly recommend it. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're in the Bay Area, I'll be up there on the weekend in next month 
So let's hang out. Let's eat some Chinese food. <laughs> let's go skate. <laughs> I miss those straight. I know, right? Disney Channel movies were lit. <laughs> There's all kinds of weird, like Halloween ones too, that I really like. I started watching on Netflix. I think it's called The Sandman or something like that. Kind of weird, but I think I like it. Hey, yeah, Halloween Town was goaded. What about Halloween Town 2? Uh, was it Revenge of Caliban? <laughs> or something like that? <laughs> I've been trying to remember that. Yeah, that one was awesome. Oh, Calabar's Revenge. There we go. <laughs> Bruh. There was like a third one too, wasn't there? Let's see, how many were there? There's four of them. The newest one was in 2006. Return to Halloween Town. I should submit this as a something we should watch in Discord. Yeah, there's four. There's Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge. Halloween Town High, and then ha return to Halloween Town. <laughs> yeah, I only remember the first two. Well, I think part of it is probably Halloween Town High came out in 2004, and then return to Halloween Town was 2006. The original Halloween Town was 1998. So it's kind of a big block of time. What was I doing in 2006? I was in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite straight to Wait, motocross? I remember that. I don't- I just remember the shirts they wore. <laughs> Amazing. That's right, because there was the girl who was like pretending she was a dude so she could compete. Oh yeah, the Johnny, um, Johnny Tsunami. You know, I saw him. I'll see this one. <sighs> it's so cute. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to buy that. <laughs> um, I saw that guy. The Johnny Tsunami guy. He was working at the loft. It's like this Hawaiian restaurant near me. And I was like... I was so confused.
Looking back at it, I got some Hello Liberty and Virus from Motocross and didn't even realize that until two years ago. <laughs> Google Disney Channel movies and feel old with how long you have to scroll to recognize anything. <laughs> I honestly don't remember the plot of that movie other than there was the girl who was like, she wanted to compete, but she couldn't. So she like hid her identity. There was also some mermaid one that I liked. I can't remember. Oh, Brave. Is that the, um, the Scottish girl, Merida? I think is her name. I like that one. H2O, yes. <laughs> yes. I recently watched, um, I think it's called Onward. It's the one where, like, the two brothers, they're, like, I don't know if they're elves or what they are, but. Yeah, H2O is good. <laughs> um, also, Xenon. My, like, most recent, like, Australia show that I was watching, we were watching, um, Wentworth <laughs> on Netflix. That show is wild, and I think everyone should watch it. <laughs> it's, like, a Korean drama mixed with Orange is the New Black, but in Australia. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was what I was thinking of, was there's the boy that was a mermaid. Hey, what's up, Switch Doctor? Switch Doctor, I have so much energy and vitality because I ate the... <laughs> I ate the Vegemite. <laughs> I feel so vitalized. My vitamin Bs are going crazy. <laughs> we need a binge American tale. Hey, again, yeah, okay. Can someone in my Discord write this down in, like, the Trash Shows channel that we need to watch these movies? No, Loki, I really liked it. Especially with Mix with the Butter. On its own, no. <laughs> but with the Butter, it was really good. And I kind of want to try it with, like, cheese... Would you like grate cheese on top or would you just would you just like put a slice of cheese on top? Like how, what's the cheese preparation? <laughs> I just had a Vegemite toast. Also, who came up with Vegemite? It's very interesting. Grilled cheese. Oh, so do you like before you grill it, you just put the Vegemite inside? Like, with the cheese? You like to bake, you can make cheese. Oh my gosh! That sounds amazing. Okay, well if you have a recipe... I'm good at baking. I'm good at baking. <laughs> and if you're my friend, I'll make you a cake on your birthday. <laughs> I don't know if I should be happy. I can't have that or sad. What, Vegemite? Does it have dairy? Yeast. You can have Vegemite. You just need to find like a dairy free bread. Look at it. Oh, on grilled cheese. Well, there's like vegan cheeses. Don't worry, don't worry. If you believe in the power of the Vegemite, you will get your sandwich. 
Someone decided that Bitter needed a sequel and birthed Vegemite. <laughs> I like that it's birthed Vegemite, not like invented or like. <laughs> it's so visceral. <laughs> okay. This board movie night. Uh, what was it? American Tail. My artisan. Come back, my baby. And then Halloween Town. Four of them. <laughs> my children. <laughs> Over here. Oh, so Min Minne with the Tenu is actually really lit. <laughs> it's really smooth. And it's not like rattly or anything. Yeah, I had I took this board with me on um Okay, I will definitely ping you. Um I took this board with me on Saturday and uh some people were typing with it and they were really excited about the 40 percent no it's not wobbly yeah it clipped in really well and actually this space bar is kind of bent but it kind of like it pushed it down so yeah it feels solid hey what's up kekona the rubber dome is pretty sick I'm excited to try more of it because I want to kind of like mess around with the sound profile because with the silencing rings it's very quiet like very very quiet hey hello minus DKP how's it going yeah no paperwork looks great on with it um I also got the dark the all alphas kit but the tenu only comes in this color which is why I use these alphas because I think it would look really good with the dark, um, the dark alphas kit. Also, this color is actually really nice. I was showing my friend, I was like, yeah, this is a 3D print. And I was like, it actually looks really good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be sending that back to you soon. Might not be able to, Oh, it's okay. I'll, I'll be there. Well, because I think the meetup's on the Saturday. I'll be in on the East Coast starting Thursday, but I'll be on Thursday. I'll be in DC and Philly Friday. I'll be in Philly then like taking the train up to Providence and then Friday, Saturday, S Sunday, I'll be there. And then my flight doesn't leave till like later in the evening on Sunday and, and I'll be flying out of Boston. So. I'll be there for a while, <laughs> but if you have any time, just let me know. <laughs> um, paperwork extras haven't happened already. So Davis is still in the process of shipping, um, <gasps> baby shower. How fun. Well, I'm excited for you, but yeah, that's definitely more important. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, talk to Davis, because she hasn't run the extra sale yet. She'll, she'll be announcing it in the Discord first. So. Keep an eye in there. I think, too, there's a role for paperwork, so she'll ping the role first. So if you have the role, you'll get first dibs. Or you can try and use your influencer status. <laughs> to try and get us but <laughs> I don't think these switches need um needs uh films did I try one filmed and not filmed Has anybody used Zaku switches before? <laughs> I'm like, switch doctor, give me the prescription, girl. <laughs> yeah, the spacebar kit is massive. 
Um, because I have the thinner. These are the one point one five. Yeah. Yeah, Zaku's. <laughs> um, also, I know that um, I was talking to Dee Dee because Winkies is also uh, selling some um, 3U space bars. And they're... Uh, so DCS doesn't have convex mini bars, only concave ones. So uh, Winkies cast... 3U space bars in the same colors as paperwork space bars. Um, so if you want the convex mini bars, the 3Us, um, they're up on Winkey's site. Um, I can post a link. So I actually ordered some of these as well. Because um, I wanted to try them. See what's up. <laughs> So yeah, you can order, they come in quantities of one. Um, so you can order like whichever color you want if you want one or two. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Winkies also is amazing at color matching. Um, so I'm sure these are going to be amazing. But yeah, I'm very impressed with Winkies like casting ability. It's like amazing on point. <laughs> I'm sorry, BA. It's my influencer nature. I can't hold back. It just happens. <laughs> okay, 205 on the stem and bottom housing. I need to buy more Topher photos and no more pieces. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if these needed films or not, but that's better because then I don't have to do that. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely, I think I kind of love the 10U look. It's pretty hilarious. And it actually, it feels nice. <laughs> it's definitely like not rattly. So the stabs are working. They're doing their magic. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but is is it only DCS that has a 10U mold? Or is there a GMK 10U? And if there's not a GMK 10U, how can we create a GMK 10U? <laughs> Who do we need to petition? Spend a bunch of money. I know, right? Because <laughs> I know there's sometimes they'll do like small runs of random stuff. But yeah, I would be figuring out how much does the mold cost. And then dividing up that. We need GMK tenue and GMK enter. The big enter. Let's try to convince somebody to run that. I figure if you did it in like a basic colorways, you know, maybe do like a set with like a beige, a black, and a white or something. And just do it like stock colors. <laughs> yeah, because 
I know um Kaneki's did like a uwu macro columns group by which I apparently entered even though I have no caps that match it. <laughs> which I'm like, how does this make any sense? Like and it wasn't too pricey. Ooh, Bay G how about can we call it GMK Bay? Anything is possible, Trey Pop. <laughs> Wait, let me see if I can find this. Where is the uwu? Uwu. Oh yeah, it was GMK uwu macro kit. See, there we go. How can I get a render for this? <laughs> Cause yeah, the okay. So I'll show you what I'm thinking about. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, so this add-on kit, this was a separate group buy of itself, but only thirty six ninety nine, and it was just the macro columns. So I feel like there's like enough tenu weirdos that we could make it happen. Like thick enter and ten you people <laughs> with their powers combined, <laughs> you can give it <laughs> the mole. <laughs> you regret not picking. Yeah, I and I think I bought it because I was like thinking about the Stierka because it has the macro columns, but then I don't have any white on black sets and I don't have any beige sets either. <laughs> That's what I was like. Why did I order this? <laughs> I'm just just fantasizing a cube with five ten U space bars and nothing else. Hey, if you can, if you believe it, you can achieve it, man. Why do you think I started learning PCB design? Cause I'll make stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, don't let your memes be dreams. You can make them happen. Oh wow. So they do they have the mold already? It's just like for the um oh but it's DCS. Okay, never mind. I can't find my other tweezer, which has like a um like the straight like the end isn't bent, which makes it a little easier for springs, but I can't find it. DCS. Yeah, the um paperwork is my first like ABS DCS set and um I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice. The texture is really nice and like profile wise it feels pretty close to cherry. Ah! Yeah, SP texture is nice. Yeah, it's definitely not as, um, it's not as, like, textured as, like, DSS, but it's also not as smooth as, like, SA or something. Yeah, it was fun kind of, like, messing around with the different SP profiles this weekend. I haven't really had time to just sit down and mess around with keycaps. They destroyed it. Was it too powerful? Did they drop it into Mordor? They said no one can hold this much power. It must be destroyed. <laughs> This is very, like, requires dexterity, and <laughs> I don't have dexterity. <laughs> they said at one time they had a cherry sample. Oh! Yeah, maybe it got damaged or something. 
Maybe somebody threw it in the trash on accident. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, maybe they just like phased it out so they were like, nah, we good. I just want to hang out more. The kids are in bed. Ooh, go have a fun workout twerk out. I'll see you later, Static. Have a good night. Cherry mold is weird spacing too. Oh. Here you spring. They never had a standard map. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed that when we were looking at like different of those enter keys. And um, some of them have like different positioning for the stems. Separate yourselves. <laughs> no dexterity. <laughs> Bringing all three of my bay boards to national meet one of them. Oh, to the national meet one of them is Opsat. Oh, interesting. I forget who I was talking to was trying to convince us to go to the Nashville meetup. But I think it's like the weekend after Cannon Keys, right? Omni key style with the dummy switch. Oh. Is that like where the, it doesn't actually like actuate, it's just there to like act as a stabilizer type of thing? You don't already hate coaster stabs mounting the enter key. <laughs> We're getting closer. Basically just a fake switch housing that clips where the pipe would be and uses normal ANSI wire mount for the 2.25 Uber. Oh, okay. So it just sits at the top and then the actual wire is the bottom part. Hmm. Like a little pillow. Or the key kit. very easily amplify an omni key because of that. Yeah, because that switch is already there.
You need bread? No. I don't think so. Oh, see you later, Turtle Cat. Thanks for hanging out. Hello, Art Keys. What's up? It's Winnie's dinner time. So we were looking for her, but she's not in here. Today we are lubing Zaku's. Almost done. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you. So this one is the Smolka. Like the baby of the Stirka. <laughs> exactly, Switch Doctor. <laughs> and then this one is the prototype of the Mine. It's a 40% uh, Toper build. What I built last week. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I feel like this is the year of Topra. <laughs> and the year after that, yeah. This is what the one with the fake key looks like. Oh, cool! Oh, interesting. So it's just like a, it's like a slider basically for the switch for the keycap. Wow, that's cool. You made a Franken switch the other day. Is this a new, unheard of Franken switch? What you got? Is this the Switch Doctor special? Did she make a new creation? Here, I have two springs that are stuck together. Mm -hmm. Time for these themes. Someone may have tried it, but I had some cherry clears from a Leopold. I like the tactility of Ergo clears, but they're a bit scratchy and the stem is chunky. So it's a pain with keycaps. I swapped the stem out for a navy stem, so much of the same tactility but long pole, and then used the navy spring too. But I might swatch those poppy but nice cherry housing sound. Oh, that's cool! Dang, what are you gonna name your creation, girl? <laughs> okay, let's see. Stinking Navy Clears. Oh, nice! I want to name it something like Ocean y, because it's like the Navy. <laughs> Ooh! 
These are nice. Oh, I need to find a bag for these. I'll be right back. <laughs> X A M S. Thank you for the information. <laughs> um, glad I found use for the navies though. I like them, but the round one had horrible leaf ping, so I yeeted those kind of things. <laughs> What's your night runner switches? I know <laughs> it's pretty sick. <laughs> Am I a fan of tea kales? Um, I I like tea kales. I like all keyboards to be honest. But my issue with tea kales is that I'm like a, when I use a computer, I keep my hand on the on my mouse most of the time. So if I have a tea kale and it's a little too wide on the right, it ends up pushing my hand out to the right and I get like shoulder pain sometimes. But I, I don't mind TKLs, I'll use them. But I try to keep, normally I try to keep it a little smaller and if I have extra keys, I like them on the left side, which is why I like the Smolka and the Stierka because they have like the left macro columns. Um, hey, important research. I'm using my 40%. <laughs> How are you doing, researchers? Um, thank you for the raid. Researcher Ryan, researcher Corey, what's up? Today, um, I'm lubing switches, but how was your stream? How's the important research? I'm going to be on your guys' coast uh, next week from Thursday to Sunday. I'll be in, um, there's a keyboard meetup happening in Providence, Rhode Island, next Saturday. So I'll be up there, uh, from Friday, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'm leaving out of Boston. So I don't know where you guys are at, but <laughs> if you're nearby, holla at me <laughs> or I'll message you on Discord. <laughs> Basically, we're brainstorming designing a keyboard that means if we can cooperate on a keyboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to help you with whatever I can. I'm not really a keyboard designer. I'm just, you know, a little baby streamer running around. My main advice will be, like, put cats on the keyboard. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Winnie deserves her own keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, just hit me up if you never need something. My DMs are open. But yeah, I'm excited to get out of the house again. My brother's in the Philly area, so it'll be nice to see him too. Mid the high road. Or Thank you, BA. <laughs> the best news of the week. <laughs> oh no, my cat Winnie. Um, she is the star of this Twitch stream. Her, actually, most of my emotes are emotes of Winnie. She's my little baby. She's a little grumpy girl. Um, so that's why I always say, you know, just if you need something, just put Winnie on it. It'll make it way better. <laughs> Cause she's my little baby girl. 
She's basically like a really nice cat that has a very grumpy face. But she's actually happy most of the time. <laughs> These long springs are really interesting because I feel like it's like perilous trying to get the stem on them <laughs> without it like falling off. Ah. You know what it reminds me of is like, you know those creepy toys, the like jack in the box toys? It's like the spring and it's like the little head on the top. <laughs> So for the keyboard, should we incorporate or just have cats? Uh, I think I'm, my answer is going to just be yes and yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Realized the other day one of my cats used to look like a grump all the time before he used to let us touch him. Now he has the sweetest face. Oh, that's so cute. And uh, there's uh, my porch cat, Poe. That was him too. Like when, cause he just, he followed my other cat Filbert home, and then once he became friendly, like his face just was like so. He looked like he was in heaven all the time. <laughs> my cat's name is Winnie. Uh, I don't know if I have any side profile pictures of her, but I do have a Google Photos album that I send to people when I'm getting commissions done. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Oh wait, let's see. Let's see. Here, I'll send to you on uh, Discord. I almost typed on the freaking switches. <laughs> so yeah, I have a Google photo album where I send this out when I'm getting like Winnie based commissions done. <laughs> and uh, I just keep adding pictures to it. But yeah, she's my little baby. Oh, yeah, Poe, I'm pretty sure he was somebody else's cat and they abandoned him. This is the better side. Um, because, yeah, it took me like probably six months before he let me touch him. But the, the second I did, he like immediately rolled over and that was it. Like he was just domesticated after that. Because <laughs> yeah, he used to run away anytime I'd like get close to him. And one time I caught him when he was sleeping and I just came up real slow and I touched him and then he was domesticated. <laughs> He's a little cutie. Mm -hmm. 
Right. I'm excited. Well, I was like looking up um flight information for like Australia, New Zealand. Bro, that mess is expensive. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Warm thoughts. My issue is like, I for those longer flights, economy is like torture for me because I'm a very tall, giant person. <laughs> so I usually buy like, well, U.S. domestic, I'll typically buy like business class. The other part to it, right, is like COVID safety, like. If I can distance myself a little bit by having like more space at my seat, I'm gonna do it because I'm paranoid. And also it just reduces my stress levels. I'm blessed that I'm in the financial place where I can do that, but it still hurts when you pay for those tickets. <laughs> Cause yeah, the last time I flew to, um, I flew to Japan, I think it was like 13 something hours. I started getting back spasms again, which I hadn't had that for like a year or a year and a half. And I was like, so I think I need like a more space. And I was looking at like business class, bro, it's so expensive. But then I remembered, so US business class or like some, kind of like the US like older, um, like first class. Those size seats are the same as the, um, like on smaller planes are the same as the international premium economy. So the prices are way cheaper than having to pay like first class international and you still get a, de a good seat. Like I will survive in that seat. <laughs> Hopefully my economy flight to Europe is empty. Ooh, when are you going to Europe? I have never been to Europe. I've only been to Asia. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I, I'm trying to figure out if I can stop by Singapore too. Yeah, that would be sick though. If your flight's empty, then you could just like have a whole road here. So that's the thing is though, is like my, my brain, like I plan ahead and I need to like mentally prepare for that mess. So if I can like be assured that I have space, then I'll take that any day. Cause yeah, economy to like for like 13 hours is not. <laughs> um, the plan is in January cause my friend Bert, who's um, here, she's going to a wedding in New Zealand in January and she don't want to go by herself. So I, I planned on going with her and then after the wedding, I'll hop on over to my homeland, Australia. <laughs> I do know I have ancestors that were like in New Zealand because like I'm Samoan. So like there's a crossover there. Ooh, I'm gonna have to play that. Um, which I've always want, tried to like get more information about that. Cause it, like we've done like some like family history, like those like family tree stuff. And it kind of stops once you hit New Zealand. So it would be nice if I could try and find more information. But um, yeah, I've just never been to that side of the world yet. <laughs> don't let FC <laughs> right <laughs> yeah I'm very curious though like I feel like from what I've seen I mean it could just be like the media but it seems like New Zealand and just Australia generally have like larger Pacifica like populations so I'm really curious to see what that's like because here it's like there's nobody <laughs> like, like there are Samoan and Tongan people but like it's like 
very tight knit communities and like unless you're in those communities nobody knows like where those countries are <laughs> we'll take you to baker's delight for a cheesy mite scroll that sounds like a disease bro. <laughs> a cheesy mite <laughs> you gotta check the bed for cheesy mites <laughs> hey liberation <laughs> I think it should be a cheesy mite challenge because I feel like I need to be brave. <laughs> Hello, Liberation. Liberation is my friend. Sends me the PCBs. And we have the same birthday. I think cheese mites do exist. What? Hold on, we need to look this up. In my mind, cheesy mites look like that little, that little mite Pokemon, the electric one. <laughs> Wait, what? It's called a cheesy mite scroll. I thought that was a typo, but it's actually a thing. Wait, hold on. I thought you meant cheesy mite mite roll, but it's an actual. Scroll. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're learning all kinds of things today. This is crazy. <laughs> Look, cheesy my scrolls. So, oh, so it's like you, do you like roll it like you do a, um, like a cinnamon roll? Using, turn on to the lightly flower dough surface. Roll out dough, spread over the dough, and put the cheese. Roll up firmly from the long side, and then yeah, it's like a cinnamon roll, but Vegemites. Devondale tasty cheese block. I love that y'all use the word block for to describe food items. <laughs> Things are ruining cheesy mites for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like ah, yes. I wonder if that company paid for this recipe. That's wild. I thought it was a typo, but it is a scroll. Maybe I sh maybe I could make them with the um, cause I have the Vegemite, and I'm sure I would have plenty, cause it's a big container. Do I need to do like keep new baking stream? How long does it take to bake? Oh, 20 minutes. Uh, I can just talk out of my butt for 20 minutes to entertain people. <laughs> also, I want another minty. These are really good. I won't be able to talk, but I like it. I watched a video about cheeses that are illegal. Whoa. Wait, let's find this. France cheese might. I believe it. Oh, it is. They're called cheese mites. What? Oh, it's that uh, cheese mimolette. Because that's like what gives it the flavor is the bugs eating it. Which also, who figured that out, right? Like, they're like, oh no, there's the bugs on my cheese. Let's try it. They're in the cheese. Bruh, somebody's nasty. Somebody was like, eh, it's okay, more protein. <laughs> <laughs> you know there was that one guy. <laughs> he was like, it's okay. <laughs> like the people eat ants when it's on their food. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> no thing. Well, I'm down for the cheesy mite scroll. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I just love that like, they tried to like, they tried to 
um, like combined cheese and Vegemite and cheesy mite was the, the chosen word. <laughs> like, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Freezer custom. Yeah, dude. I looked at the paper you filled out. You put like the freaking like what is is that the um Are those the like the UPC codes? I was trying to figure out what the numbers were. Cause you put a bunch of numbers like and I was like, dang. From America when I ship stuff out. Oh, it's categories for the FDA. What? Whenever I ship crap from here, I just put it's a gift and it's cookies. <laughs> and then I just ship it. <laughs> Nothing can ruin cheesy mites for me. Yeah. The power of the cheesy mite can never be suppressed. <laughs> Oh, awesome. <laughs> Such a dog name. <laughs> I never thought about that. Because I feel like, at least for the US, like, when you fly and stuff, if it's, like, cooked, then they don't usually have an issue. It's mostly, it's mostly for when you go to, like, Hawaii. Like, if it's a cooked item and not, like, a raw vegetable or something, when the food is okay. <laughs> the um one thought if BA actually ruined it then you could be like you can use it for your warm thoughts drama stream be like you guys blind assassin is anti-australian and cheesy mites <laughs> You have an account with the FDA? What the? You're serious about biosecurity, my dude. <laughs> no, don't cancel BA. <laughs> if anyone's getting canceled, it's me because I have a stalker. I don't want to get into it, but they're the worst. My profession is- Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's right, you said you're a veterinarian. <laughs> yeah, there's someone- There's someone, like, weird that's been supposedly spreading lies about me. But to me, it's like, I've never talked to them before. They don't know me. And like, talking to like, like addressing it is like, to me, it's just giving them more energy than it's worth. You know what I mean? Like, unless they were saying really, really bad stuff where I would need to like, legally pursue defamation then it's like, it's not worth my time. <laughs> so, I just choose to ignore. But, it's just a good reminder, you know? It's, I mean, it's, it's sad that, like, I want the keyboard hobby to be a safe space, but at the end of the day, we're on the internet. And the internet is not a safe space. Yeah. <laughs> it's, special but yeah if you want to know who it is I'll tell you just for the streamers so you're aware but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go around talking about it yeah. Ugh. But yeah, that part was stressing me out over the weekend. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna play Vampire Survivors and not think about this.
<laughs> but yeah, I just finished the the class I was having for the summer, which means I have more time to mess around. Which means keeps miss planning begins, which I'm really excited for. I think this year, I think it would be a good idea, like, if, um, we did two weeks of streams instead of doing the Discord giveaways. Like, our original thought was that not everybody watches Twitch. But I think if we can get enough, like, diverse time zones involved, then it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I love Ender, this is behind her back. Oh yeah. <laughs> that guy. I just don't get why people can be so negative. Like, it's literally a hobby about keyboards. <laughs> Which is why I don't really care. <laughs> Cause I'm like, it makes no difference in my life. <laughs> But that's provided they don't escalate. If they escalate, then I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, take some legal measures. Oh, you found it? Okay. Yeah, I sent that to you. There's a new, um, there's a new setting on Twitch where you can share, like, with other streamers, like, uh, people who are banned on your stream. So if they do show up to your stream, it'll, like, create like a highlight so basically it's like a warning so like you can kind of keep an eye on them um but yeah you can share like your ban lists with other people which i thought was kind of cool and they also have new um settings for ban evasion so that's like people who they get banned and they try to make another account uh because they're creepers Yeah, I, I, if it, I, anyone wants me to send them mine, just let me know. I don't really know who to send it to, <laughs> except Switch Doctor. <laughs> so yeah, the, it seems like they're finally coming out with more security tools, which is good, because especially there was a whole, like, a really uh, big wave of, like, hate raids for a while, and, like, hate bots. So... Yeah. For me, like, it's like, on the one hand, I'm not gonna let anyone bully me out of a space. But then on the other hand, it's also like, you gotta watch out for yourself, you know? And like, be careful because it's not a safe place. You know what I mean? Which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's why, yeah, the new, the new features seem really cool. Because yeah, that was what was happening was like, there was a couple people that were going like from keyboard stream to keyboard stream. And like trolling and stuff so we kind of have like similar audiences but yeah, i was thinking about getting a um a stream deck thing because i want to like push buttons number one <laughs> but also there's like a settings you can set up so if like weirdos do try to raid your channel you can like basically shut it down and play an ad so you to like keep them from doing stuff in your um your thing i think i only had one time don't push my buttons please <laughs> there's gonna be the ban blind assassin button <laughs> There'll be the feed your cats reminder. Don't get a stream deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that. I'm just like lazy and it looks kind of fun because it has colors. But we could do that. I have enough macro pads, let's be real. <laughs> Gotta go. Hey, thank you, Liberation. It's good to hear from you today. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. 
come back. You smoke as a stream pad. <laughs> Mine new stream pad. <laughs> I want to get my chaos, chaos pad set up. I'm, I'm hoping this week, since trades is off of work, that we can um, go over the case files for it. Because I want to get another prototype case made. Get a re pad. <laughs> hey, <good. laughs> that's that one that's like all the way across. <laughs> You're actually making a macro pad with a nice man. Oh, that's cool! And you're retrofitting it into an old children's music toy. <gasps> that sounds awesome! You gotta share pictures with us, uh, try Vanilla JS when you're done. I love crap like that when you like repurpose like old stuff. Oh, yeah, Osa Numpad. Girl, I don't got money for Osa Numpad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm undecided about which Osa I want. But it's gonna be the best Osa. My nose is okay. Ooh, that's the toy? I wanna see it. May we help you? Girl, you can like eat my Tim Tams? Switch doctor, she's trying to eat my Tim Tams. <laughs> yeah, you can eat the Tim Tams. <clears throat> I have another package. But just this once. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just don't eat the whole thing. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Thief. There's another pack. She can eat the some. She's like, these aren't the crappy Trader Joe's ones. <laughs> this monkey is so cute. What the heck? Vanilla JS. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So wait, are you making like a replacement PCB for it? Or are you just hooking it into the nice nano? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're hand wiring directly to the controller. That's sick. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I'm bringing... This was going to happen. This is what I did when I went to Japan. I brought my full suitcase, but only half of it was full. And then I put, fit in the other half of it was like all goodies <laughs> that I brought home. So I'm bringing back the Tim Tams to America. Yeah, when I went to Japan, I brought back so much crap because when I first went to Japan, I was, like, going to school. So I had, like, I didn't really have a ton of space in my bag to bring back stuff and or I didn't have a ton of money for souvenirs. So the, sec the second time I went there, which was, like, a couple years ago, I was like, now is the time. <laughs> and I got like so much crap. I filled up the whole room next door with all this stuff that I was trying to like, I was like sorting everything out of like who I was bringing stuff for. And like, yeah, it was intense. I had so many Kit Kats. It was fun. We went to the Pokemon Center. That was the other part of it. And I went to the one in Tokyo, but then there was one in the airport in Singapore. And I was like, uh, yes, please. Let me, <laughs> let me get some more Pokemon stuff. So yeah, I had like so much Pokemon stuff. I got this really cool Pikachu bag. It's like a little duffel bag, but it's like, it folds down into like a square like this. And then it folds out to like a, a big bag with like a strap over my shoulder. So that's how, that was like my personal item or whatever on the plane. <laughs> I was watching a Kiwi streamer last week and she taught me about Tim Tam Slams. Hey, yeah. You know the way. Well, I'm going to be living the dream for the next couple weeks with my Milo and my Tim Tams. Because yeah, Trader Joe's has like a fake version. It's not good. The cookie is not good. 
it's kind of like the same as if like there's Oreos and then there's like those fake Oreos. What is it? Hydrox or whatever. <laughs> is that what it's called? They're not good. Yeah, Hydrox cookies. <laughs> that would be the the Trader Joe's Tim Tams are those. <laughs> But yeah, let me know. Let me know too if there's anything you want me to bring back from America. It could be keyboard stuff. It could be stuff from Disneyland. I'm real close to like everything in LA, so just holla at me. I don't know if In N Out would survive unless I froze it. But it's not that good, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate there on Saturdays. What are your feelings, Gnarly Charlie, about um, Shake Shack? Because I hear device like divided opinions. Because it's more common on the East Coast. I bought a suitcase of In and Out back from Dallas. <laughs> oh, I could bring some with me next week if you want. You just gotta tell me how to do it. Cause it's a direct flight from LA. Shake Shack's fine. Their best burger isn't even a burger. It's a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, it's Shake Shack's fairly new here in California. So I've only tried it like once or twice, but I liked it, but I don't think like you can really compare it to in and out They're kind of like different things. It's so like when pe a lot of times people try to like compare it to In and Out, and I'm like, I don't think it's a fair comparison because they're trying to two do two different things. Yeah, In and Out's the value game, like super inexpensive, consistent. Like, Shake Shack seems like they're more focused on, like, bougie ingredients. It's failed bougie. <laughs> you don't have Whataburger out with it? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have time to hit up the Whataburger when I was in Houston this last time. But I've tried, I tried it in Dallas. Um, Chewy took me to the, t took me for breakfast because they had the, uh, what is it called? Honey Butter Biscuit. And it was, like dripping with diabetes but I'm not mad at it <laughs> yeah honey butter chicken biscuit that's the one yeah it was really good dude okay I love breakfast burgers if you don't like breakfast burgers Cannot be trusted. <laughs> also, hello, Thought Thumbs. How's it going? I saw some of you guys yesterday in um, Starfire stream. Congrats to Starfire Penguin. She hit over $4,000 for her charity stream yesterday. I didn't stay till the end because I was sleepy. <laughs> but she did an awesome job. She was raising money for teachers. You do see tarot. This is a PBT tarot from Novel Keys. I got this a while ago. Um, I have GMK as well. I actually prefer the PBT version. I think the color is the the alpha purple is a little um cooler in color, and I think it matches things better. Star Starfire kept doing a mustache over her face with her hair. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, I cut my hair, so it's not long enough to do that anymore. I've been cutting my own hair since the panini started. Because, here's why. Because my hair is curly, so like, even if it's uneven, you will never know because it just curls up. <laughs> you were there all eight hours? Wow. Oh my gosh. You are committed. We love to see it. <laughs> the pandemic Lovato. <laughs> Butter and toast the buns in Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger. The one that I wanted to go to but I also didn't have time was um Waffle House. Cause I always hear about Waffle House. But I never went there. <laughs> Cause I know that it, the fights go down at the Waffle House. Wait, do they have that near you, Gnarly Charlie? Maybe that's what we should do in the morning. <laughs> Is go hit the Waffle House. <laughs> I was trying to look up like what are things to do in DC area. And I was like, should I get my uh <gasps> No <laughs> I dropped the stamps. <laughs> um Waffle House is a spiritual journey, hey Rest in peace, my stems. Um, I was trying to look up what was in DC because I was like, don't our tax dollars pay for the Smithsonian? I should get my money's worth in it. <laughs> but all of them seem kind of boring, except for maybe the Natural History Museum. Either boring or like heavy for like the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm on vacation. <laughs> There's a zoo. But the zoo, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be really hot. Spicy ketchup? Ooh. Anthony Bourdain had an episode of his traveling food show where he went to Waffle House to get 3 a.m. and said it was his favorite restaurant of all time because you can literally just point to food pictures on the menu. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> That's something I did love about Japan too is a lot of the restaurants were like that as well. Like there would be pictures on the menu. It made it a lot easier. Or there would be like pictures on the... Like on like some some restaurants you get there's like a little vending machine and you like pay there and you get a little ticket and then you take it to the counter. I love that. We could go do a little um, national treasure hunt. <laughs> we'll go get the Declaration of Independence. The other thing I looked at, they had these like little like electric cart things. They'll drive you around and tell you stuff about Washington, D.C. <laughs> Yes, that's how, that's the ma main thing I heard about Waffle House was the, um, was the, uh, the Waffle House index. Because if the, if it, the Waffle House is closed, then it's like a disaster. <laughs> you grew up in DC? Oh, nice. Yeah, I was just like, I, I'll, I'll have like a few, I'll have like a day there basically. And I was just kind of looking for something to do. Other than like eating. <laughs> or if you have food recommendations, those are also good. 
National Portrait Gallery. Ooh, what's that? Google, Google. Oh, it's a Smithsonian Institute. Yeah, I was trying to figure out like what where if there was a list of all the Smithsonians. Cause I was like, isn't this paid for the tax monies? I should take advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's kind of cool because yeah i was like there's some that i want to go to but they're kind of heavy for like a day trip you know what i mean <laughs> oh botanic garden spy museum say less what is that? Spy museum. <gasps> what? You can go undercover? <laughs> <laughs> We're going undercover, Charles. That sounds so freaking fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will pay for our tickets. Let's see if they're sold out. Oh, they're not sold out. <laughs> okay. I think um, this is a high contender. I love spy crap. I love puzzles. I love pretending I'm a spy. <laughs> you need four days just to say to work that you're returned. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it does seem like there's a ton of museums. Yeah, usually when I go, like, to new cities, I like to go to the aquarium. Because I like fishies and animals. And I also like to do, um, ghost tours. Because <laughs> sometimes they're really funny. <laughs> it's really cool to check out the capital. Oh. I, if I go to the capital, I'm gonna start yelling, like... I'm gonna start yelling. <laughs> I don't know if I can deal with it. Take me to the Supreme Court. Let's go yell at the Supreme Court. Let's do that, Gnarly Charlie. <laughs> go fight people at the Supreme Court. <laughs> oh, Baltimore Aquarium? Oh. I went to the... New Jersey has like an aquarium I went to. That was pretty cool. <laughs> no, we will not storm the Capitol. We'll just yell at the legislators. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not trying. We uphold democracy in this <laughs> in here. <laughs> yeah, just badger the judges. That's it. <laughs> Safe distance? That doesn't sound fun, B.A. Yeah, not from Florida, exactly. <laughs> I know, this is like, it makes me sad because I, I like going to like Disneyland or Disney World and stuff, but I'm like, I'm not going to Disney World anytime soon because it's a mess down there. Because they have this like Halloween nights that I like to go to. It's like a separate ticket. There's restricted the number of people that are there and it's at night, so it's not hot. But the tickets sold out in like a day and I didn't even know about it and they already sold out like in June and I'm like it's not even August yet <laughs> yeah I was sad but maybe next year I'll pay better attention hey hello Tita Kiwi how's it going we're finishing up lubing some switches Oh, I could probably show you guys too the um the board I'll be building next week. Washington DC has really good seafood. Oh. You're not supposed to be able to approach the capital. I was told to step back. <laughs> Did you have a flag in your hand or like <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> a riot shield. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not familiar with like DC how it's laid out or the rules or anything. So, but yeah, these are some good ideas. I never even knew about these museums. Oh yeah, I guess because Baltimore is close to DC, right? And isn't Maryland like known for like crabs or something? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> it's interesting these long springs. It kind of it doesn't make it difficult to close them, but it's definitely like every once in a while I'll feel one where it's a little bit. I gotta kind of like realign the stem a bit. But we did it, y'all. Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, and Philly are all very close. Oh, okay. You were just waiting around as a kid. Oh, wow. Bruh, they were hating on you eating your lunch? That sounds rude. We did it! I lube switches, everyone. That's right, me. Lubing switches. On a Monday. All right, let's find somebody to raid. Um, do you want keyboard person or, and do we want baby stream or do we want, uh, very coverage or then these clothes? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, here it's much more spread out. Very rich neighborhoods and then two blocks over. Oh. Oh, who is on? <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> okay, uh, let me find. Am I following him? Oh yeah, here. So he's doing a Lynn montage. We got. Oh, Yura's been uh doing um a hand wire build. Uh. Which, props to her, because I haven't attempted that yet. I think this is the second time she's streaming it. There's also Frank. Let's read Yura. I haven't rated Yura in a while. I don't know if she's streamed like the same time as me very often. Okay. There we go. All right. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me. Shout out Switch Doctor for sending me all the goodies. You are the best. You are number one vet in Australia. <laughs> but I hope you all have a good night. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday playing games. Most likely with Blind Assassin. <laughs> we'll be playing um, It Takes Two. And then on Monday... Next week, I'll be streaming the Sangyo 65. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and I hope you all have a good night. Uh, and then, should we do a raid message? We'll do wires. Okay. <laughs> we'll do a raid message. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all have a good night. Um, uh, if you need any help, hit me up on Discord, and I will catch you all later. Bye! Keep noob, hi! Thanks for the raid!